Hi everybody, it's Kitty Ray. Um, this is going to be a video on my foundation, um, how I apply it, uh, what kind I use. Um, Y'all might already know that if you watched my favorites video or if you've really watched any of my videos, you should probably know that. Um, so it's just like, you know, me applying it two different ways, like the two different brushes. I hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned. Alright, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like on half of my face. Um, I'm going to use the normal foundation brush for like fuller coverage. And then on um, the second half, I'm going to use the duo fiber. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. Um, so always before, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Um, because, I mean, you know, not everyone does have dry skin, but I have certain, like, dry patches. Um, around my nose, it always gets really dry. And, um, I can get dry in here and, you know, and if you don't put on your lotion, it, look, ugh, it looks nasty. Um, okay. So, the foundation I use, um... I've already told you all before. It's Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, it's amazing. So, I'm actually just going to, you know, I just use my fingers and dab it on. I've never been a huge fan of that. But, um, this stuff is so, I don't know, when you put it on your little mixing tray, once it dries, it's like stuck on there. Um, so, it just takes way too long to get it off. So I just use my fingers now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the full coverage on this side since, um, I mean the normal brush on this side since I have all the little spots and stuff. I want to show y'all how I cover my, my blemishes. Just dab it on. i got to be careful because I'm used to just doing the whole face at once. Um. It's best to, I guess, kind of go with the growth or flow of the hair on your face. It gives it a smoother look. Um, yeah. <laughs> but be careful about streaks. Um, with this brush, when I do get them, I usually get them on my nose. Um, I don't really notice them anywhere else. That's like the main um spot is my nose that I get them. But they're very easy to cover and avoid. No big deal, really. Okay, that's just, I kind of do that all over. And, you know, I'll bring it down some. But, um, now next we're going to... I'm just going to dip my brush into some of the foundation and um for under eyes just take it and just dab it now don't worry too much about the eyes because um for my primer I use the um, Physician's Formula Concealer. So uh, they get covered anyways. But um, it was a lot. Okay, now that's all I do for my bags and stuff. Um, and this stuff, it dries. It doesn't crease. You don't need powder. You can use powder over it if you want to use powder. You really don't have to. Um, I always go without it, but the thing is, is if you do have oily skin, um, if you don't use powder, where the oils come out, it kind of will take the foundation okay, off. Okay, uh, my camera cut off. But, um, like I was saying, um, if you have, like, oily spots, I guess, um, I would prefer, uh, recommend that you use a powder on top. Because on my nose, sometimes when, the, like, the oils start coming out, you can see, like, the little dots like where your pores are um, the makeup kind of just comes off but um okay now 
for covering blemishes. It's going to be the same thing as what you do for under eyes. Um, here, let me see. I just pat on them. It's kind of a bit. Just pat over the blemishes. Okay, I mean, you can just see, instantly see the difference um, in, like, the coloring and everything because I have a very, my face is really red, and um, I hate it. I've always hated it. It's redder than the rest of my body, so when I go and get foundation, I get it to, like, to match around my arms or, you know, the rest of my body because my face, I guess it just lets off so much heat. I don't really know, but it's always very red or pink. Um, yeah, so... This is with the normal foundation brush, which I think gives the most coverage. Um, now I'm going to show you the duo fiber. We're just going to do the same, just applying it in spots on the face. And I just kind of buff it in and, you know, also, you know, then bring it down with the growth of the hair. Um, that is one problem though, <laughs> the duo fiber brush, these little hairs fall out like crazy. But I like it, I really do. It gives a nice look, I don't know. It's just a soft look. Okay, now, um... I'm just going to go and cover, you know, if I have any blemishes or under eyes, exactly like I do on the other side. I go back with the foundation brush for all that. Okay. Um, yeah, that's about it for my foundation. That's how I do it. Um... If you want to apply a powder, any powder really will do. Um, translucent powders, um, a colored powder, it's whatever kind of powders you like. I'm just not huge on powder. Um, I don't really know why. I guess only because I found this foundation and you really don't need it with it. But it's not like, see I don't like those like liquid to powder foundations because they always look super chalky to me. And... Like, if you have dry skin, it really shows up, shows up on your dry patches. Um, but this stuff, it really doesn't, um, I, it looks, I mean, no, yeah, it's great. It works awesome. Um, but, yeah, any translucent powder or any kind of powder is going to work with it. Um, but I just feel that it does so well on its own. Um, and you can, you can combine concealer if you want to use concealer, but... It's just a very, um, to me it's an all-in-one kind of foundation. It's got it all. It just depends on how you apply it, you know. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on um, how to, or how I, what I use for foundation and how I apply it. Um, and the two different ways, two different brushes you can use. Um, but if you do not have this Estee Lauder Double Wear yet, I recommend it. Um, Alright, now we'll see you guys later. Thanks.